an education related story for you this morning. Local students from two area schools are heading to Dallas to compete in the VEX Robotics World Championship. Yeah, pretty exciting. KTSM 90s reporter Jasmine Perry had a chance to catch up with these students. Hey, Jasmine, good morning. Well, good morning, guys. And first off, these kids are smart, courageous, and more than ready building, testing, and rebuilding their robots for months now. Students from Riverside Elementary say it's taken them two months, with Hanks High School students taking them seven months to build. And from the looks of these robots, you can tell they're ready. Take a look. The Isleta Independent School District is building robots. Students from Riverside Elementary and Hanks High School are showing off their robotic skills as they're headed to VEX Robotic World Championship 2023. While Riverside Elementary is going to compete in playing the game called Slapshot, Hanks High School will be playing Spin Up. Teacher Porfirio Zamora says in order for teams to be successful, they have to score at least 200 points. It happens if one team gets disqualified, then your other team gets disqualified as well. So that's something that you have to be very, very careful and you have to speak with your other um, alliance team. Since they've started practicing, they're only getting better. Once we created our robot to push things and we added a shooter. So now once we added the shooter, we had to create a dispenser in order for them to hold the pucks. And uh, this is a description of um, Beast, the robot. So they hold the pucks in there. And then once they hold the pucks off the blue and purple dispenser, they shoot them in. Competing in five different competitions in El Paso before, Riverside has placed first in each one and ranking second in the state of Texas. Israel Rodriguez and Dominic are both drivers for their robots called Beast and Cindy the Terrible. It makes me feel more creative that we're building robots and being able to program and to drive. While three teams from Hanks High School are competing for the first time, robotics president Eduardo Guillen says they're ready to take on the championship. You want to see who's faster at getting through with their problem. And I guess that's the main thing that also comes with engineering, which is a really, really good thing for us. Our engineering program is really, really good. Brian Flores, the robotics and engineering teacher at Hanks High School says they've been testing their robots since August of last year. Uh, we're here to late in the evening. We're here on the weekends. They're, I think for them to go compete at the next level, it's going to open their minds. It's gonna give them another experience. Uh, competing with over 800 teens from across the globe. The high school students say Robots Perla, Juan Tatius, and Nidex are ready to show the world what they're really made of. I'm Jasmine Perry, KTSM 9 News. All right, Jasmine, thank you so much for that, and good luck to them.